sorry it's been so long since I filmed a YouTube video. I've noticed that everyone in the entertainment industry as a whole is struggling with the whole um, lockdown and lack of motivation, inspiration, creativity, all of that. I've noticed a lot of people are having a hard time with that. Myself included, you know. It's, it's hard, like, it seems really dark at the moment. Like, I'm literally filming this at 2pm UK time and it's like dark outside almost. It's kind of weird. Like, this setup is like the best I can do with light because it's so dark and I'm just like, what the heck? <laughs> like, I can't wait till spring is here and it gets lighter like earlier, like it stays lighter when it's late, if you know what I mean. I can't wait for that to happen. But anyway, I want to tell you guys how I'm doing because quite a few people have been asking me and you've been asking me how I've been doing in the lockdown and you guys have been telling me how you've been doing in the lockdown and just stuff like that in general. But firstly, I just wanted to address something. Um. On like a motivational speaker's Instagram page, I saw a video of someone saying that they want to create a YouTube channel, but they feel like their life is too boring to make one. And I've had people say that to me before, where they've said like, oh, I really want to do a YouTube channel, what's your advice on it? And I'll give people advice and they'll be like, oh... You sound like you have an interesting life. My life is too boring for a channel, so I'm a bit worried. And I'm just like, no, honestly, my life is pretty boring. Especially now, you know? Especially now, with this COVID lockdown. So, I just, I just want to say to people that think that they're too boring to make a YouTube channel, that is honestly not the case. You could do the slightest thing and someone will find it interesting. That's what I found. Like, a while ago, I put on my Instagram stories, like, a video of me running a bath. And I had a bubble bar from Lush in a tea strainer, and I was running it under a tap. And I thought nothing of it. I was just showing what I was doing at that time. I was like, oh, I'm just running a bath, you know. And that was it. I thought nothing of it. So I had the bath, I came out the bath, checked Instagram stories and someone messaged me in response to my story and was like, oh are you using a tea strainer for the bubble bar? I said, yeah, I said, why is that? I said, oh it makes more bubbles, it makes the bubble bar last longer. And they were like, oh that's so cool. And then they were like, Oh, that's, that's really going to help um, people to save money. Oh, I've just sent it to this person because I know they use bubble bars. And I think they would really like to see that. And I was just like, okay. And that was something that I just thought nothing of. Like, I was just running a bath and that was it. I didn't find the whole tea strainer thing to be that interesting. But to someone else, they were like, oh, that's a really good idea. And there's other things that I've seen people do, and I'm like, oh, that's really quite interesting. You know, so honestly, some of the simplest things can be interesting to people, you know? It's like, even if you sat and, even if you literally just sat there and filmed yourself watching TV, to you, you might think, oh, that's boring, I'm just sat watching a TV programme. But your audience are like, oh, what are you watching? What's your opinions on the show? How do you feel about this and this happening in the storyline? And all these things. Like, in the UK, we have a show called Gogglebox. That's literally shown on primetime TV, like, you know, when the most people watch TV, apparently, according to statistics. And Gogglebox is literally people filming themselves watching TV and reacting to it and the re reason why people like the show so much is the characters like the personality of the people commenting on what they're watching 
and seeing how different age categories and different demographics and stereotypes react to these TV shows and stuff. You know? So, honestly, please don't think to yourself, oh, I'm not going to get a YouTube channel because my life's too boring. It's, it's honestly fine. Like, everyone has boring times in their lives. Like, people aren't constantly doing something super interesting all the time, you know? It's not... It's, it's really not like that. And I know that quite a few YouTubers make it look that way, but honestly, it isn't. It isn't that way. It, it really isn't. Just, it really isn't, <laughs> you know? So just bear that in mind. But anyway, so how am I? How am I doing in the lockdown? You know, um, what have I been up to? What do I, what do I fill my days with? All these questions that sometimes people ask me, so let's start with how I am. I, I am a mixture of happy and sad, I guess. Happy because I'm saving money so I can finally afford things that I've been needing for a while. Because before I was spending money not very wisely and I was spending it too much on other people and it was just not always a good idea. So I've been saving up money and I've been able to afford things that I've needed slash wanted for a while and all of that. I'm also happy because I've been able to use this lockdown time to my advantage where I've been writing my book, I've been thinking of more song ideas and writing stuff to do with that, I've been able to practice music a lot more like my guitar and piano, I've been having online lessons with my usual teachers and it's been going great, it's completely fine you know, I can exercise at home, like as I've taught myself that I don't need the gym and as well Home workouts, you can do them whenever you want. Like, most of the time I feel like working out. It's like 10pm. And I'm not going to be at the gym at 10pm, am I, really? So, I've just been doing home workouts. Like, I bought dumbbells. And I've been doing arm workouts. And, like, um, you know, I can go out to the park on my bicycle. And I can skateboard. Just things like that. I mean, the weather's bad at the moment. Like, it's gloomy, it's dark, we had snow, we have rain a lot. It's cold. So, I haven't been able to do much outdoor activities. I've been walking my dog quite a bit, you know. Usually my dad walks my dog, but I've been walking her and my other dog, Lucky. But he doesn't want to walk far because he's really old now, but anyway. So I've been doing stuff like that. I've been planning content. So that when I did come back to talk to you guys, I wasn't like, what do I say? What do I do? Type of thing. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to give you something good. And I want to put some positive content out there as well. Like, it's all so doom and gloom in the world at the moment. I'm just like, oh, you know, things are going to get better. Like, we have a vaccine now. My, my grandparents got vaccinated. And other people have been telling me that their elderly relatives have been vaccinated too, so that's good. That's really good. I... I am going to get the vaccine, but I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared of vaccines. Like, what I mean is, I'm scared of the needle. That is it. Everything else, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I'm not going to talk about that too much, but if... If and when I'm offered the vaccine, I will be getting it. I just will. So, yeah, I so I've been doing a lot of stuff. I've been filling my days with all sorts of things like music practice, writing music, writing a book, <laughs> looking after my dogs, housework, all these things, you know, like um, loads of stuff absolutely loads of stuff some stuff that I'm not allowed to talk about yet because they're like 
in the works as such, you know? And um, I'm still going with the audio company I set up with my best friend Madeline and our good friend Darren. Darren is so clever when it comes to inventing things. Like, he invented the Axi Ski, and it's so cool. So cool, you know? So I'm really excited. Really excited about our Kanubi Audio venture that we're doing. We really want to keep going with it a bit more, but lockdown is just making it so hard to do that. But you guys, keep your eyes peeled because you are going to be amazed at what it is that we are coming up with for that. It is so cool. But yeah, my days are literally filled with, like, I try and be as productive as I can. And I've been able to read books more. Like, usually I'm terrible at reading books, like the motivation and sticking to it. But I read The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, and that book is amazing. It's amazing. It's about different lives people can have, and the meaning of life, and like looking at life from different perspectives, and it's so cool. I'm also now reading Astrology for the Soul by Jan Spiller. That is cool. That is really cool. And um, I've got a few other books on my list that I need and want to read. So at night I've just been uh, reading books. You know, it gives me a break from being online, basically. And um, I've been watching a few Twitch streamers. I've been kind of just learning more about Twitch and Discord because Discord is quite complicated sometimes with all the different threads and everything and just how to manage it all and yeah social media is going crazy like they're, they're coming up with so many different things like Twitter has its own stories now called fleets or something and I'm it's keeping up to date with all these things and I've been making TikTok videos, so if you want to follow me on there it's just Steph Hansen TikTok is my username for TikTok obviously so go and follow me on there, there's um I'm gonna try and do as as like I'm gonna try and make co content on there like as good as I possibly can because TikTok is kind of TikTok's kind of weird yeah, it's it's kind of hard. Like there's trends, but I don't I don't agree with people copying trends all the time because I'm like, well, it's not original. It's not originality. If people just copy trends, then they're just following the crowd. They're not really doing their own thing, you know. So I want to do a few trends, but I also want to do content that is just my own. It's just stuff that. I want to post, so I have been. I've been doing like a mixture, really. But yeah, um, in the comments below, please tell me how you guys are. Like, like, where are you in the world right now? What are you up to? How are you feeling in this lockdown? I mean, I don't mind at the moment being at home a lot. I mean, I can't go to the hairdressers, but like, that is such a small problem at the moment with the amount of lives we're losing to COVID-19 you know like I still have a lot of stuff I want to do in lockdown like I, I need to practice photography and I need to play around with my lenses that I've got as well like I need to, I really need to do that I still need to learn how to ollie on a skateboard <laughs> there's stuff you know, there's, there's loads of books that I need to read and want to read. So there's loads of stuff I could be doing and that I'm doing. You know, I'm trying to put out some interesting content for you guys, even though I can't really go anywhere, you know. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I'm just, just trying my best, really. I mean, when I said I was a mixture of happy and sad, I didn't touch on the sad stu stuff. So I'm going to briefly talk about that. Um... On Twitch I've been getting too hyper and I've been kind of losing friends almost because of how insanely hyperactive and over the top I get from being stuck in quarantine. Just watching um, people on Twitch 
Like, I, I don't know why, but when I watch Twitch streamers, I just go crazy. I go really hyper. And I end up upsetting someone. And it's it's awful. And I, I'm trying to make myself stop doing that. So, if you are watching, and you... Um, are upset by my actions with that just know that I am so sorry I'm just all this hyper happiness I've got nowhere to channel it into almost so it's a bit hard but anyway sometimes it hits me that we're in a pandemic and I feel like it is robbing us of our lives and opportunities and I try so hard not to worry in case my dreams will ever come true or not or things like that that is kind of the sad stuff you know just worry basically but yeah apart from that I'm I'm fine I'm all good as I've said let me know in the comments where you are in the world and how you're feeling at the moment Try not to make this video too long. Sometimes I, uh, sometimes I do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Like, why haven't you subscribed already? Like, please, like, subscribe, you know? I've got loads of stuff for you guys to look forward to. You know, where possible. Hit the notification bell if you want to get notified as soon as I upload because quite a few of you guys find out that I've uploaded from a social media post that I've put out and not from YouTube telling you. I have that same situation with YouTubers that I watch as well. I end up finding out on social media that they've uploaded and not from YouTube. So hit the bell so that you are notified the second I upload a video. Hope you guys are staying safe and you're being responsible in the pandemic where you can.